Hi, this video will show you how to find your topic and articles about your topic in the database called SIRS Issues Researcher. The first thing you'll want to do is go to the Shasta College Library homepage at shastacollege.edu slash library. Once you're on the library homepage, you can click on Articles and Databases on the left-hand side. To quickly get to SIRS, you can select S, and it's the first uh, our database listed. SIRS is a great place to go for argumentative topics or hot topics being talked about in our culture. They organize the topics in pro-con argument format and present uh, articles that back up those arguments. So we're going to go ahead and take a look. When you click on the database, if you are not already logged into your portal login, then it will prompt you to, to enter your username and password. And then it'll take you right to the database. So once you're in SIRS, you can see here that um, it has a very visual uh, front page. It lists the trending topics and editors pick. Uh, editor's picks for topics. If you know what you're researching already, you can go ahead and type it in here. SIRS is um, more of an argumentative pro-con database, so I recommend keeping your topics more broad at this point. Um, and then if you're still picking your topic, you can go down here to need help choosing a topic and start exploring uh, some of the ones that they've identified here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose virtual classrooms. And what you'll see here is that they provide a really nice topic page. So they give a summary of the topic. And then they also present one of the essential questions around the topic with two viewpoints. So this one is, are online classes as beneficial to face-to-face -face instruction in a traditional classroom? Viewpoint one is that uh, online classes provide students with a variety of experiences not found in traditional classrooms. Viewpoint two is that online learning cannot replace the experience of real-time instruction in a traditional classroom. And then they link three articles that back up that viewpoint. So if you're just starting out uh, researching your topic and you're trying to get an idea of maybe some um, issues, and identify viewpoints within that for a pro-con essay, this is a really great place to start. Um, if you scroll down, you can also see a class, a timeline. The timeline is uh, really important because it gives you uh, context for your topic, and also it gives some great vocabulary. So sometimes when we're first learning about something, we don't always know the terms that uh, that maybe an author uses to write about a topic. And so we can come here and find important um, terms, uh, people, organizations, and dates um, and events that have happened and led up to where we are now. Uh, and they also provide a lot of really great links too. So uh, it's, a, it's actually a really good place to find uh, statistics if you need that as well for your topic. Um, if you wanted to, if you, the question they put on the landing page is not what you are researching, that's okay. If you click on find more sources for virtual classrooms, it will then just do a search generally on virtual classrooms, not on that uh, narrowed viewpoint. And then you can find just articles that contain virtual classrooms. Um, you can limit over here. I recommend limiting um, to the last five years. So um, you can just type in the date here. Um, so I'm going to do um, 2 today. And then that will help narrow it down for you to make sure you have the most current uh, articles. Now as you scroll through and take a look at um, your sources, you can see here um, most of them are newspapers. Occasionally uh, you'll get a government source in here, but most of the time in SIRS you'll be finding newspapers uh, and that are credible. 
So I'm going to take a look at this one. Um, it is Virtual Classrooms, an Alternative Path to Post-Secondary. And this was in the Toronto Star uh, on September 23rd, 2017, so it's fairly current. So you can open it up and read right in your browser here. And if you scroll all the way down, you can take a look at related subjects. Um, and this is really helpful as you're learning about your topic, you need to start collecting the vocabulary around it. So if this was an article that I really liked and wanted to use on my paper, chances are other articles that are just as great will use similar key terms or subjects here. So uh, online learning, distance education, those are all, or virtual classrooms, these are all uh, key words that I might wanna jot down and use in my search later. You can also see right here are related documents. Pay attention to the date. It does not, uh, these related documents do not contain the limiters that we put on such as date. So you'll wanna just be mindful of that, but occasionally they do have some good suggestions on this right hand side. Now, if I was going to use this or I thought I was going to use it, uh, make sure to email it to yourself so that you, um, do not have to repeat your research in that you can keep a record of your research uh, in your email. So you can email that to yourself. It will email a citation as well. You can also click here to get the citation. It's going to be MLA 8. You can copy and paste that onto your reference page or your works cited page. Uh, but I do want to caution you to please double check these as they're frequently incorrect. So you'll want to make sure that um, you know, the uh, capitalization is right and all that. And also some teachers have specific uh, citation format that they want. Um, so make sure that it matches what your teacher is asking for. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you get stuck, please email us at askalibrarian at shastacollege.edu and we would be happy to uh, help you find uh, articles for your research.